it's me, Be Unique. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. If you're returning, you know you guys are awesome. So today's video is going to be uh, part three of my wig haul. Um, so today I have the wig Davida and she is from Outre. She's not from their Perfect or Melted Hairline uh, collection. She is a lace front wig. So if you guys want more information um, and my thoughts on this wig, then please keep on watching. Okay, we're gonna jump right into this video. Um, so here is the wig card that comes inside the box. It is uh, blah, 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 blah. Outre Lace Front 5 inch Swiss um, L shape parting space with natural baby hairs. Does say it, it's pre plucked, heat resistant, um, save up to 400 degrees. I have the color DR4 Tiramisu and the style Davida. Um, here, the back it gives you a whole bunch of colors and um that that it comes in and whatnot i got this off of samsbeauty.com i know this video is not sponsored i buy all my stuff with my own money if i don't i will let you guys know but is it ain't, we ain't gonna be in there anytime soon so i already took everything out of the box i went ahead and did the parting to try to speed this video up because i didn't want it to be like a long video i just wanted it to be a quick super quick um short you know review and and thoughts and whatnot so here everything is out of the box we have the car with all the information. I will have everything linked down in the description box. Um, you know, prices and stuff. So here is her straight out of the box. I'm getting some shedding, which I'm noticing right now. But, I mean, it's nothing too crazy. Typically with lace to front wigs, when you go ahead and cut the lace, um, you're going to get that anyway. So, I mean, now, I'm not the cap about. construction, this is like your standard... You know, you got your wefts, you got your comb in the back, you got your adjustable straps. There is no band on this one. And then you have your two combs on either side, if I could show you guys the two combs. Okay. So here we go. I don't know. I kind of am missing the, uh, whatchamacallit. I miss the band i feel like i need the band. oh i just scratched my face i feel like like i need the band though honestly now i'm just going to make sure that the ear tabs which there are no ear tabs so you could technically do a middle part i guess but i don't know i'm not gonna be gluing stuff down today you guys oh she cute She's looking a little cute. I love the length. I love like mid-length wigs. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. And I'm feeling this color. I, I'm gonna try to finger comb this out. I feel like it's so curly. Now, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm not feeling the lace on this one. Like, it's okay. It is, I'm not gonna lie. It's not bad. But I just feel like on the melted hairline or like even on the perfect hairline, um, the lace and the knots were a little better, honestly. But I like this wig because I don't need that much of my hair out. And it blends really well. So I'm not hating that. I'm not. And I like how it has little baby hairs. Oh, my wig cap's showing a little bit. So like over here, I'm just gonna pull out a little bit. I didn't even use the combs yet. Let me try that. I don't hate the wig. I just feel, oh yeah, I needed the combs on. I could have used my wig grip too, but uh, who's got time for that? I ain't got time for that, honestly. Honestly. Yeah, so I don't, I can't say whether or not this is big head friendly. I don't know if I even have a big head or a small head, but it's not feeling tight as of right now. I love this color. I really do. I feel like this one blends a lot better with my nat, well, not my natural because it's not natural, uh, with my own blonde hair. Um, and I really am feeling the length. It doesn't feel too hot. So I'm wondering if I will be able to wear this in the summer months because from my memory, this wig wasn't all that too expensive. And if I find a wig that works for me, I will buy 
either in a, in a different color or in the same color. Um, I love blonde. That's just me. And I really like this color. Honestly, I really, really, really do. So let me do a 360 for you guys. Let me just zoom on back a little bit. I don't know if I uh, look a little dark or not, but here is the side. Go ahead and do that. Here is the back. Uh, here is this side. I don't know whether or not I like the curl pattern. I feel like it's super fanciful. Like, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not hating it, but I feel like it should be a little bit more loose. Does that make sense? And the more I loosen it up, it's just, I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know. Maybe I don't want it loose. Maybe I don't know what I want, but I like this side. I like this side of my face. I just don't like this side, the way it's falling. I don't know, but you could always add some heat to it. I try not to add heat, um, especially when there's a curl, uh, just because it, once it starts looking janky, then that's when I'll start adding heat to try and like fix it, you know, make my wigs last a little bit. But I mean, I don't hate it. I feel like the cut or the curl pattern could be a little bit better. Right now I'm kind of on the fence with the cut. Uh, again, the color I'm in love with, but let me see, let me see what this is looking so, like. From what I can see, it's, yeah, it's like the curls, like there should be more curl at the top, I guess. The way it sits is just sitting funny. And I don't know if you guys can see what I'm talking about. From the back, it looks okay. It actually looks really cute head on like that. But when I turn this way, I feel like it just looks weird. Do you see that? Do you see this weird bumpy bit? And my head's pretty flat there. Like, let me see. Okay, I just the comb a little bit. Opinions of this wig. It doesn't feel hot. I like the front. I like the way, you know, this looks. So like for videos and stuff, I can, you know, or like you're in a video conference or something or other like that, a video call or whatever. Um, I like, but it's the back. When you turn to the side, I feel like it lays weird. Like, and I don't know why, like I'm finger combing it out and it's just, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going on there, but I don't really feel the back. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. To me, the back is a little weird the way it falls. If you guys know what I'm, what I'm saying, drop those comments down below. Let me know. Is it just me or is, is it in my head or can you see what I'm seeing? And does it look a little wonky? Um, if the back was more balanced, I guess, I guess you could say balanced. I think I would give this, like, I would love, be in love with this wig, honestly, because the color is perfect. The front looks super cute um, and polished. But to me, it's just like when you go to the back, it's like, whoa, like, were there supposed to be curls at the top? Like, did they have, like, if, if no one knew I was wearing a wig, like, I feel like if it was me looking at somebody, I would feel like they got lazy in the back and just stopped, like, halfway. That's just me. <laughs> I don't know. That's just my opinion. But, yeah, so that wraps up this video, you guys. Uh, let me know if you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on your opinions on this wig. You guys know my thoughts. I mean, I don't know. Am I right? Am I wrong? you know, am, am I going crazy? <laughs> Let me know. And if you have not already, make sure you guys sting my subscribe button. Come join my little beehive here with me. Help me pollinate my videos on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, more of so you guys can think of pollinating my videos and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.